All right. So on this one, again, we're solving for x. And what I recommend doing is finding common denominators for all three of these terms. So the reason why in an equation we would want common denominators for all the terms is because then we get to eliminate all the denominators, which makes it a much easier expression to look at or equation. So on this one, um, yeah, 45 is going to have to do it, right? So I'm going to have to multiply the 9 by uh, 5, which means I'll have to multiply the 4 by 5 as well. So that gives me a 20 over 45x. And then we're going to subtract uh, the 5 lot to multiply by 9, so the 2 by 9 as well. Again, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing so it doesn't change the value of the fraction. So that's 18 over 45. And this equals the 15. We're going to have to multiply by 3. So the 4 by 3 as well. So we got 12 over 45. So now that we have those common denominators, again, we can get rid of them. So I'm going to rewrite this without any denominators. And this is what I get. See, this gives us a nice expression to solve for, which looks like it's going to be a lot easier to solve. And from here, I'm going to add 18 to both sides so that I have my x's on their own side of the equal sign. And 12 plus 18 is 30. So to solve this one, I'll divide both sides by 20. And if I simplify that by dividing both these by 10, then I get 3 halves. But, of course, we should check this, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and check. So this was a 4 ninths x minus 2 fifths equals 4 fifteenths. And so we're going to replace the x with the 3 halves. So 4 times 3 is 12, and 9 times 2 is 18. And we're going to subtract... 2 fifths, and this should equal 4 fifteenths. So, again, we don't know that, so it's a question mark. Um, we can simplify that 12 eighteenths by dividing both these by 6, which just may help us a little bit. Let's see. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And this is minus 2 fifths. Should equal 4 fifteenths. So our common denominator here is 15 for the left side so that we can subtract those two fractions. So I'm going to multiply the 3 and the 2 by 5. So that's 10 fifteenths. I'll multiply the 5 and the 2 by 3, which is 6 fifteenths. And 10 minus 10 fifteenths minus 6 fifteenths, this should equal 4 fifteenths. And 10 minus 6 is 4. Common denominator is 15. And sure enough, this does equal... 4 fifteenths. That's true. So we know our answer is correct.